<sighs> well, boys, there was no trailer in the state of play. Very sad. Ironically enough, however, like two minutes into the state of play, a new poster got leaked for the game, so that's that's fun. Another leak. Can you guess who did it this time? It's Trends again. Trends and Funko are the only two people that just don't understand what keeping a secret is. I am so <laughs> frustrated. I honestly am so frustrated because this is yet another leak for FNAF Security Breach. It's just really annoying. <laughs> like, it seems like we cannot get a break. Like, every month there's a new leak. Whether it's with Funko and their list of new merchandise, or, you know, the calendar by Trends a couple months back, and now they're doing it again, but this time with a poster. Now, I made a community post about this not too long ago, but I am lifting the spoilers for FNAF Security Breach on this channel. So we've done a lot of videos on the leaks, and all of them... I've always blackened out the characters in the thumbnail to avoid people getting spoiled. But now at this point, it's like, what's the point, you know? It sucks, honestly. I wish we didn't get all these spoilers. I would love to go into the game not knowing what the characters look like, and I think that applies to basically everyone. But at this point, there's been so many leaks and they're all out there now, it's like, you know, even the subreddit has lifted the spoiler tag, like, last month, I want to say. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. So before we get into the actual poster, I want to talk about another leak, which, if you can't tell from my hand gesture, it's not an actual leak, it's another hoax. So in a previous video, we looked at some leaked screenshots of Security Breach, but in actuality, all three of the images that we looked at were fake. Two of them were from a, uh, a PlayStation 4 Dreams fan game, and then another one was just made by a couple of friends. So I actually almost missed this one. Uh, it came out yesterday on August the 5th, and this is what it is. So as you can see, we're in the mall. It looks like we're being chased down by Montgomery on the escalator, and it looks like Freddy is up top uh, on, on the second floor. We have a lot of rooms to look through. We have the ice cream room. Don't know what that necessarily means. Maybe it's an ice cream parlor? Not just, you know, a room filled with ice cream. We have two waiting areas. Not sure what we're waiting for in a mall. And then we have a VR arcade up top. Now right off the bat, this does look pretty real. You know, like the models look cool, the location looks all right, I guess. It's nothing too spectacular. I would be very disappointed if this is what it looked like, but it, it still doesn't look that bad. It even has the PlayStation VR, which we now know that Security Breach is not going to be in VR upon release, but, you know. And based on the PlayStation State of Play, it seems like we could have expected to see this in a trailer for the State of Play. However, of course, the State of Play came and it went without any mention of Security Breach. But this was proven fake way before the State of Play even happened. According to Kane Carter, which is where I actually found this leak yesterday, um, Kane says that after some research, he can conclude with confidence that this is sadly a fake. It is using some private, fan-made 3D models. Now, as far as I'm aware, Kane does not say where these models came from, but it seems like they came from some other person in the modeling community, because there were some modelers in the comments of Kane's post saying, oh, this looks like mine, but Kane says it's not. Kane says that he is in talk with someone that knows where these models came from, and he says that they are, in fact, private. So anyways, I just wanted to cover this really quickly before we hopped into the poster, so if you see this going around the internet, it's fake, don't believe it, just like the past three images. So now that that is out of the way, let's move on to the official poster for FNAF Security Breach. So again, this was leaked by Trends over in the Star Wars saga of their uh, website for some reason. The first thing that everyone cares about is how big is it? It is exactly 22.375 inches horizontally and then 34 inches vertically. I know everyone wanted that information, now let's see what is actually on the poster. So of course, we have the logos down at the bottom for FNAF and Security Breach, and then we have the main gang of the game. We have Vanny in the top left, we have Glamrock Chica, Montgomery, Glamrock Freddy, Roxanne, and Security Girl. It was kind of hard to say based upon her previous teaser, but I think it's pretty safe to say uh, with this new poster that has been leaked that we will play as whoever this female security guard is in the game. I, I have no clue where we are. 
on this poster if that matters at all. We definitely do seem to be inside the mall, maybe we're on the stage. But all of the characters, honestly, look really freaking good. We finally now know what Glamrock Chica looks like. We have not had a teaser for her yet. Uh, all we had to go off of was her Funko action figure. She honestly looks strikingly similar to the action figure, of course, with the exception of the reused parts for the figure, but, you know, it does look like what she looks like. We also have a better view of Vanny. She was in a previous teaser, but she was just a silhouette, so we couldn't quite see what she looks like. And of course, she has a knife, because she is going to be the villain in this game. Yeah, so Vanny is ready to get killing, and it looks like, if we zoom in real quick, I don't know guys, that mask, it does have a stitch, but it doesn't look like that stitch is colored in. Just saying. Also, the eyes are glowing red, so of course that's another sign that, you know, she's gonna be the villain. Looking at the background a bit better, it does appear that we are in the mall. Like I said, it looks like we are on the stage. Looks like there are lights overhead, there's a backdrop with some stars on it. If you look closely, I think there's also a human off to the left near uh, Glamrock Freddy's head. So if that guy has any significance, I have no clue, but he's there, she's there, they are there. So again, the designs look fantastic. I honestly love this poster and would love to have it on my wall. When it gets released, it doesn't have a release date. I know I probably should have mentioned that earlier. All it says is coming soon. So looking at the security girl for a quick second, she does have a flashlight like in her teaser. Um, did she have a cap in her teaser? I have no clue. She did. So, she's lost her hat. <laughs> now, what lower significance that has, I have no clue. Guys, speculate in the comments. Yeah, so it appears that she's running away from the characters. It looks like she's not hanging out with them. She's running away from either the animatronics or just Vanny and the animatronics are just there. I will say, something that s sets me off with these characters is just how little they look like animatronics, you know? Like, especially Roxanne, honestly. Like, have a good look at them. At first glance, they don't look at all like the um, traditional FNAF animatronics. So I think that is very interesting to note. Uh, I don't know if that is a design thing for the poster or if they will look more like robots in the game. Vanny, of course, is not a robot. She is wearing her full bunny costume with the blue bow tie as well. Again, going back to Glamrock Chica, she has her feathers up top in a bow tie. She has her green Dorito earrings. Montgomery looks exactly the same as his teaser and his, uh, his, uh, trends calendar. That might even be the same model, honestly. Like, it looks strikingly similar. Glamrock Freddy, his, he's doing his traditional pose where he's grabbing his microphone on his stand, he's got his fist in the air, he's ready to sing. I still think Freddy looks more like a leopard than a bear, but he still looks great. There's, there's not really much to say besides, hey, we finally know what most of the characters officially look like. It's hard to know if this um, poster is going to be the final product, because last time with the trends calendar, Scott said that these, that it wasn't the finished artwork, so if this is finalized, I have no clue. As of the recording of this video, Scott has not said anything. That will probably change very soon. But as of now, that's where it is. So, guys, there's only two more days until August the 8th. And I am 99.9% .9 sure that we are going to get something. Whether it's just something as small as Scott saying, Hey, here's an updated list of all the current projects. We'll get something. Security Breach trailer, Security Breach teaser, Teaser for Scott's um, game that he's making by himself, update on the movie, whether it be a teaser, but I feel like that's gonna be unlikely. I think at the most, if we get movie news, Scott will come out and say, oh, you know, the movie's going great, or hey, we're working on yet another script. Update on the AAA game, because that is going to be um, getting into development sometime soon. Scott said that it was delayed until late 2020 to start development, so that should be starting soon. Uh, if I remember correctly, Universal, is making it and it's going to be a multiplayer FNAF game, so that's exciting. Highly doubt we'll get book news. That's boring, no one wants that. But we will get something. So yeah, that's basically it. Keep an eye out on the 8th for all of the wacky stuff that's going to hopefully be released. And I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.